The Chandrayaan-2 mission failed due to a technical glitch during the landing of the Vikram lander. The lander was supposed to land on a smooth plane on the lunar surface about 600 kilometers from the South Pole, but lost contact with the ground stations shortly before the touchdown, which was scheduled to occur on September 7, 2019. The ISRO has identified three main reasons for the crash landing. The five engines of the lander generated higher thrust than what was expected. This caused the lander to descend faster than planned, which made it difficult to control. The software to detect errors was limited. This meant that the lander was not able to compensate for the unexpected thrust. The landing site was too small. This made it difficult for the lander to land safely. The ISRO has made a number of changes to the lander and rover for the Chandrayaan-3 mission in order to avoid a similar failure. These changes include adding more redundancy to the systems, improving the guidance and navigation software, and selecting a larger landing site. The Chandrayaan-2 failure was a setback for India's space program, but it also taught the ISRO valuable lessons. The ISRO has learned from its mistakes and that made Chandrayaan-3 success. Chandrayaan-3, India's third lunar mission, was a success. It successfully soft-landed on the moon's south pole on August 23, 2023. This was India's second attempt to land a spacecraft on the moon, after the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019 failed to land its lander due to a technical glitch. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was launched on August 22, 2023, from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh. The mission consisted of a lander, a rover, and an orbiter. The lander, named Vikram, was tasked with landing on the moon's south pole, while the rover, named Pragyan, was to explore the lunar surface. The orbiter was to provide support to the lander and rover. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was a success due to a number of factors. First, the ISRO made a number of changes to the lander and rover following the Chandrayaan-2 failure. These changes included adding more redundancy to the systems and improving the guidance and navigation software. Second, the ISRO conducted a number of rigorous tests of the lander and rover before the launch. These tests helped to ensure that the mission was ready for launch. Third, the ISRO had a team of experienced scientists and engineers working on the mission. These experts were able to troubleshoot any problems that arose during the mission. The success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission is a major achievement for India. It is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the ISRO team. The mission also paves the way for future lunar exploration missions by India. Here are some of the key factors that contributed to the success of Chandrayaan-3. The ISRO made a number of changes to the lander and rover following the Chandrayaan-2 failure. These changes included adding more redundancy to the systems and improving the guidance and navigation software. The ISRO conducted a number of rigorous tests of the lander and rover before the launch. These tests helped to ensure that the mission was ready for launch. The ISRO had a team of experienced scientists and engineers working on the mission. These experts were able to troubleshoot any problems that arose during the mission. The launch window was favorable, with good weather conditions and a favorable lunar alignment. The lander and rover performed as expected during the landing and subsequent operations. The success of Chandrayaan-3 is a major achievement for India. It is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the ISRO team. The mission also paves the way for future lunar exploration missions by India.